The ancient art of healing may have had its beginnings farther back than recorded history. Archaeological evidence of what would be deemed alternative medicine, its practice, has been found in many ancient cultures. Their traditions are still carried with us today. Around 2300 BCE, the tomb of the physician in Egypt had hieroglyphics etched into the walls, depicting two men having work done on their hands and feet. This was presumably massage. In 700 BCE, the earliest known Chinese physicians used massage in medical practice. About 500 BCE, the founder of Thai medicine codified a system of healing that combined acupressure, reflexology, and assisted yoga postures. Japan is no stranger to these practices either. During the 7th century, Chinese physicians imported the practice of Tui Na, or the healing way, to Japan. This hands-on healing method uses Taoist and martial arts principles to bring the body into balance. The practice grew and changed over the centuries. Anma, the precursor to Shiatsu, was developed as a unique system in the 1300s. Okinawa today carries these traditions forward. We visited some practitioners of the ancient way. Ganban Yoku, or hot stone spa, is a relaxation method imported from Thailand. Body-sized stones are embedded into the floor and heated. Bathers lie on the stones, and it's said to have a positive effect. Gamban Yoku is a method of keeping fit that involves lying down on a heated slab of rock. The electrically heated rock helps to improve blood circulation, promoting an anti-aging effect. This stone was discovered in Japan and is composed mainly of quartz. Gamban Yoku is different from sauna because you perspire more, and it has a better detoxifying effect. Another import from Thailand is Nuit Fen Thai, or quite literally, Thai Massage. We visited a local practitioner to tell us what the differences are and who it's recommended for. Thai Massage is more energizing and rigorous than the classical forms of massage. Thai Massage is also called Thai Yoga Massage because a the therapist must use his or her hands, knees, legs, and feet to move you into a series of yoga-like stretches. Many people say it is like doing yoga without the work. Some folks have the image of only flexible people can be helped by Thai massage. This is not true. It can help promote flexibility, but the type of massage needed is on a client-to-client -client basis. You can feel it the first time. It helps to improve your body's balance, circulation, and helps to minimize stress. Another import, but one from India, chump massage or head massage yet commonly referred to in Japan as head spa. We talked to a local proprietor who offers this service to find out what it's all about. The concept of head spa is improvement of the scalp and to provide an overall relaxing experience. We clean the hair, removing oil from the head. Then we use our deep sea cleansing agent to replace the essential minerals and nutrients back into the scalp. A scalp massage is designed to relax the mind and encourage circulation. It also helps to prevent dandruff and improve the balance of head oil. Many times, tension is felt within the head and neck, so a scalp massage can be very effective as a stress reducer. Locally developed, shiatsu, a form of massage, has become a traditional way both here and abroad. We spoke to MCCS's own Susumu Higa to give us some answers. I specialize in shiatsu and sports massage. Shiatsu is a style of body work developed in Japan. The name comes from two Japanese words, shi, or finger, and atsu, meaning pressure. The goal of shiatsu is to restore healthy flow of energy to the body. Generally, people tire throughout the work week. Muscles become tight and stress can build. Shiatsu and sports massage can help alleviate some of those aches and pains. To book yourself a massage, call your local MCCS Semper Fit facility. To find out more about Eastern healing or anything about Okinawa, pick up a copy of Okinawa Living. Reporting for ISI Okinawa, I'm Gabriel Archer.